We are producing cucumbers and uh, as I said my heart beats for tomatoes. So we, we usually have four kinds of tomatoes, so the normal round ones. Then we have these uh, plum shaped tomatoes, we have sherry plum that we call confect tomatoes and then we have round sherry tomatoes called piccolo and they are the sweetest tomatoes I have ever tasted here in Iceland at least. So how much faster is the growth rate uh, with the increased CO2 roughly? Well the sensor here was broken once and and we didn't know exactly until a little bit afterwards that we had been giving way much more than we thought and we had beautiful harvest. No, no, I'm just you know thinking about global warming and increased CO2. Yeah, the so CO2 is, is we are not giving so it will go out of the window. No. Because when the windows are opening, mm. we take the, the um, amount down. We have a climate computer in each greenhouse that takes care of all these features like heating system, opening the windows. Um, it, we have a weather station on the roof, so it senses when there is enough sunshine, so the lights shut down automatically when needed and turn on. Uh, we control the humidity, we control the watering and everything with these climate computers. And this is all connected to my computer in the office, so I can check that everything is fine and see on, on a graph how it's been. And then it's connected to the internet. So the beauty is that when I go away from home, I always take my smartphone with me so I can be controlling the climate of the greenhouse and see that, okay, they will be alive when I get back home. But despite all technique and, and that, we want to be as nature friendly as possible and grow healthy and tasty products. And to help us, we use a biological pest control. We don't use pesticides. <coughs> and basically that means there is a small green fly or wasp called Macrolopus, and they fly around into the plants and look for the bad insects and just eat them. Then we have really good help from these bumblebees. They are a little bit bigger insects than the wasp, and they are taking care of the pollination of the tomatoes. Cucumbers grow without pollinating. But tomatoes, they don't grow so well if they're not pollinated. They can be pollinated by wind or by, by hand or whatever. But the best pollinators are the bumblebees. So one bumblebee can visit up to 2,000 flowers every day when they are in their prime time. So you have heard the term busy as a bee. It really is right because they don't care if it's Saturday or Sunday. They just work every day. But then I was saying, the three weeks in the nursery for cucumbers and then after three weeks in the greenhouse we have full production of cucumbers. And they grow one leaf and one cucumber almost per day. Wow. So they are growing quite fast. That's why we need to change them so frequently. Unfortunately you cannot see any tomato plant <coughs> because they are too far in the back and it's not allowed to enter there but they, they grow in exactly the same way in soil bags like this 10 liters of soil is enough for six plants and uh, it takes sec six weeks uh, in the nursery for the plants to grow from seed then we plant them into the greenhouse and they grow approximately three leaves and one truss of tomatoes every week so they grow up and up and up and after six seven eight weeks we have the first red tomato, then we start to harvest. Uh, I have tried to grow in rock wool, I don't like that as much, yeah. and I have grown in, uh, in pumice. You don't like it because of the results or because of the, the result is it's quite The result is quite the same as this. But the sustainability, yes. And I like the idea that there is something organic in I think that there is something helping the roots in the organic soil. Yeah, all the nutrients are in the soil. Well, oh, but then, you have then we always bring it with the fertilizer. Yeah. When we have so little uh, soil, mm -hmm. we cannot have all the nutrition in it. So we need to. Is, is the soil it. sterilized? Or is yes, it, it is when so it comes. So it doesn't have bacteria or no. fungi or anything? No. Is that soil or peat? It's peat. 
So it's taken from, from, the, from peat bogs in Finland. In Finland. Yeah. Okay. There is a peat factory there. Right. So North, North, right? We don't have that kind of. We have we have torf and we have it, but there is nobody like producing it for for like we have here. Uh, like they have in, in Finland, I mean, <laughs> that, uh, we, we would need so much of it. But I think there are only, I think we are three growers only using this peat in Iceland. Mo most growers are using pumice, actually. 